This is my Epson 5010 home cinema projector. Um, I've had it for about a week now. This is my first projector, so I do not know a lot about them. Um, but I do know a good picture and quality when I see it. And this definitely has it. Um, yeah. First thing I want to tell you, um, knowing I'm putting this on Amazon for a review, is you could save about $400 if you go to projectorpeople.com. Um, they're a big help. They talk to me about kind of what I'm going to use the projector for, what I'm planning on, how big of a screen, and everything I'm going to use it for, basically. And they led me to this one. All the reviews I've read on this one are awesome. So um, it's about $2,500 on projector people with free shipping. So you're definitely, or 26 so you're definitely going to save probably about three, 400 bucks going there. Here's a PlayStation remote. As you can tell, it's huge. Um, I'm sure you've all seen PlayStation remotes, and it's about three of those. Um, lens cover right there when you shut it off um, to keep the dust out. Got your lens shift. The front one's for focus. The back one's to adjust the picture size. Up and down, left and right. Over here got the door. It got basically buttons that your remote control has also. So you could either do it from here or your remote, your power button. Here's the plugs, power cable, power switch, PC, component, HDMIs, um, all the basic stuff. Yeah, here's your lights, lamp, and temperature. So I'm guessing the lamp comes on when your lamp's starting to die and the temperature if it's starting to overheat. So. I'm guessing this is where you replace the lamp. It's right there. Um, the lamp has 4,000 hours, I believe, if you did not know. But if you're planning on buying this one, you should probably know that. And this is my screen. Um, not really a screen, it's just a basic yellow wall for now until I decide what to do with it. I'll zoom out and kind of let you see. So I just yellowish paint, kind of a flat textured wall. So I'm going to use. It's a picture adjustment right here, this back one. And I'll make it a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, nothing special. Just a plain old wall. Some marks and stuff on it also. But we'll zoom it back up. This wall is probably, I think it was 15 foot wide and about 8 foot tall. So this picture is probably about 12, maybe 13 feet wide and almost eight feet tall. I'm about five, six. This is the size of the screen. So that definitely decreases your brightness. So what you're seeing right now in a well-lit room, it's definitely still bright. That kind of adjusts it, makes it better. But I'm going to show you what it's like with the lights on. So if you guys have a well-lit living room that you're planning on putting it in, um, what you'll get out of it. This is Avatar Blu-ray playing through the PlayStation. Um, this is recorded on iPhone. So of course what I'm seeing and you're seeing are definitely two different qualities. Um, what I'm viewing has a lot more detail and little things that you guys ain't going to see. That thing there has a lot more detail than what I'm seeing through my phone. Okay, but some of you probably, or most of you that are ordering this projector, are probably going to have a very dark room to play it in. 
So I'm gonna shut off the lights and show you what we actually usually watch it. How we actually watch it. One thing I don't like about this remote. Can you see those buttons? Neither can I. You would think in a projector remote control they would have lit buttons. But they are not lit, so you just kind of got to feel and know where the buttons are for a dark room, which really sucks. And kind of pause, which it's that just shows you the quality of the picture. Do my phone, it don't look quite as good as it does in person, not even close. But that's detailed, that's crystal clear detail. That's amazing. You can tell wrinkles and little bumps. Another example of how good the picture is. Don't worry about picture quality because you're definitely going to get an oh, amazing, amazing picture out of this projector. Here's another thing. Um, what we were watching was Blu-ray. Um, and you're probably wondering, hmm, I wonder what it looks like without Blu-ray. Well, I don't have my Direct TV hooked up down here yet. They'll be here in a few days. But, I'll show you what Netflix looks like. And of course, Netflix definitely depends on your internet speed. So if you have a slower internet speed, you're not going to get a good picture quality um, I got a pretty fast internet speed and so the picture quality is pretty good um, what you're seeing through here is way better in person um, but let's just click on I don't know what's something everyone Thor okay let's play Thor let's see what that looks like Last great war ended, we withdrew from the other worlds, and returned home to the realm eternal, Asgard.
Um, not the best quality on Netflix. This is definitely a lower quality picture, but still looks pretty good for Netflix. Definitely bright. Here's another example of Netflix, Dark Room. Uh, this is The Walking Dead, which is an awesome TV series right now. When I first watched this episode, it was on my 60 inch Mr. Bishi DLP upstairs, and I did not even notice half of this detail and creepy it was up there until I got down here and had it a little bigger than life size. So, definitely makes everything that much better.